after taking a look at KO the Kangaroo and KO Round 2, I figured it'd only be fitting if we took a look at the portable games in the series. I'm talking KO the Game Boy Advance version and KO Challengers on the PSP. There's Game Boy Advance versions of a lot of 3D platformers, including games I've even reviewed in the past. Tai 2 and 3 had them, Rayman 3, and even Dr. Muto of all things. These portable versions of the games are often handled by people outside of the main team, as was the case for Rayman 3's GBA port being handled outside of Michel Ancel's core team. A lot of times it's up to the publisher to make the portable versions of the games, which means this version of K.O. the Kangaroo was developed by Titus, and I actually saw a lot of confusion in the comments section of the previous two videos, so to clear it up, Titus only published K.O. 1. They didn't develop it, it was Tate Interactive that developed it, but this version here was actually developed by Titus. Titus gets a real bad rap for their track record of putting out extremely terrible games. They're probably most famous for developing the atrocity that was Superman 64. Yeah, those are the people that made this game. So, let's get this over with. Okay, so there's the title screen. Can't really say I'm a fan of the artwork. They got the eyes all wrong. It just doesn't quite look like KO. No music either, just silence. Well, why don't we take this as a moment of silence, you know, for what they're about to do to my favorite kangaroo. It starts with a cutscene of KO walking to the right, and oh, there's the hunter, and uh, oh, we got caught, and uh, uh, oh, level one. Okay, so even in this version, the opening cutscene is very confusing. Okay. As expected, it's a side-scroller. That seems to be the case of every Game Boy Advance version of a 3D platformer, but thankfully, KO isn't as slow as he was in the Dreamcast version. There's even a run button. You know what button it is? It's up. You know, the direction on the D-pad. You have to hold up on the D-pad to run. It's so awkward. You're using that thing to move forward and holding it in another direction additionally to go faster. It doesn't work well. They could have easily have just made it a shoulder button. I mean, if they did that, we would not have a problem here. Anyway, the purpose of each stage is, again, simply to reach the end. A lot of the basic mechanics from KO1 carries on over here. We've got the checkpoints you collect in place, which is now done with the select button, a little more straightforward. The boxing gloves return. If you remember from the Dreamcast version, you could launch them at an enemy and take them out. They were great for dealing with those guys who were a little tricky to get by. But in this version of the game, they're absolutely worthless. It doesn't take the enemy right out, but instead just deals one unit of damage. This means you're always gonna need at least three of them to get rid of a single enemy. It's just not worth the effort. And of course, with the limited buttons on the Game Boy Advance, using a flying punch is now mapped to a combination of up on the D-pad and the B button. That's fine. I can get around that, but I mean holding up to run? That's not. The standard punch attack is once again what you'll use to combat enemies, but the range on the thing. It's impossible to hit anything without being so close that you take damage yourself. I thought it was a little clunky in the Dreamcast version, but they somehow managed to make it even worse here. The Tail Whip also returns, which sports a little more range at the expense of being closer to the ground, meaning you'll often have to jump and use it. This one is pulled off by pressing down and B. So you might be wondering what are the shoulders buttons for? Well, the L button allows you to look around, getting a better feel for your surroundings, though it only works at a standstill and I only ever found myself using it in like maybe one stage? You really don't need it that much. I think L is what they should have mapped the run button to. The R button, on the other hand, is used for ground pounds. Since the standard attacks are just about useless, you're gonna be using this one to take out your enemies most of the time. You can also slide down slopes Mario 3 style, taking enemies out instantly, which is very helpful. Now, whoever programmed the enemies in this game either didn't know basic game design or they deliberately wanted to piss off everybody who ever played this game. It's not so bad in the beginning, but in the later stages, enemies just seem to throw their entire bodies at you at speeds so fast you can't possibly react. It's like they were too lazy to give them proper attacking animations, so they just made them aggressively gravitate towards you. Look at this! The knockback is atrocious. You do have an invincibility period after getting hit, but even during the invincibility frames, you can still get knocked around. This means getting hit by a boomerang while it'll 
only take out a sliver of health, it could very well push you across the entire damn stage. You know those bumper enemies from A Link to the Past, you know, the, the ones that would knock you around. Imagine if that were every enemy in the game. It's like you're a goddamn rubber ball. Everything knocks you around. Everything bounces you around. You have no control over yourself. I've had some enemies bounce me around so hard it knocked me through the ground. I'm not even joking. Look at this. I found myself falling off the stage again and again. It's so bad. Oh, that's a game over. Cool. You'll use a password system to resume your game. I don't know why they couldn't have a save feature. I, I thought by the Game Boy Advance that was kind of a standard. As far as passwords go, though, they're not too bad. Only five characters long using pictures from the game. They really don't take that long to punch in. Just be prepared to write it down every time you beat a level. Or if you're like me, just take a picture of your screen every time you beat one. That's what I used to do back in the day when I played Mega Man 2. The vehicles return, including the snowboard and... Oh... God, this sucks. Some of these jumps, you have to be so damn precise. What happened there? I totally made that one. Okay, apparently if you don't make it enough, you'll still get knocked off the board and die. This snowboarding level took me one too many tries to complete. Let me tell you, don't even get me started. Lightning speed? What is this level? Oh, we're piloting that speed ship thing. Oh, 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 yeah, dude. Lightning speed. Let's go, my dude. Light speed. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ha ho! We're going too fast, man. Oh, buddy, we're cruising through this stage. Woohoo! Woo! Okay, oh, man, you're going too fast, buddy. You're going too fast, dude. Slow down, dude. Whoa! <laughs> Boss battles make a return, and they're. Uh... They're god awful, man. Every boss walks left, and then he walks right. Maybe he has an attack or two, you hit him until he's dead. Oh my god, they have so much health. You have to hit them like a hundred times. Some bosses you can just exploit by ground pounding on them. Like take the genie guy, for instance. He doesn't even react. He just lets me do this. This is terrible. Rough Trigger had better bosses than this. It's no different for the hunter. It's a mess. But hey, once you beat him, you get that ending. You know, just like the console version. We've got the kangaroos walking down the beach, but uh... It really drags on. It lasts like it lasts like five minutes. We don't even get to see them reach the shore. It just cuts to the word end on a gradient. Not not even the end, just end. Well, I guess that's it. This game's a pile of poop. You know where poop belongs? The toilet. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can finally take a look at KO Challengers for the PSP. This one was actually developed by Tate Interactive and not by Titus, so it shouldn't be that bad. Let's do this. We've got the same box art as the US version of KO Round 2, and that's because it's actually a port of KO Round 2. It's not that much different from its console counterpart. Obviously, the textures and the frame rate were toned down a bit so it could run smoothly on the handheld, but other than that, it's a fairly decent port. The camera is now controlled with the D-pad, though, so prepare to get that claw ready. However, there is a multiplayer mode unique to KO Challengers. Uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about. It seems more like a nice bonus than the the main focus of the gameplay, which is kind of odd considering that they titled the game KO Challengers as if to boast the competitive nature of the game's multiplayer mode. There's four game modes, Arena, Race, Chicken, and Weapon Master. The Arena mode will pit you and up to three friends in an arena where you'll fight each other. The first with a set amount of KOs will win. You can choose from four characters, a KO, the Parrot, the Hunter, and this pirate guy who's one of the bosses. All of the characters play identically, which means even the Hunter will be pulling off those those rolling attacks, which were pretty fun to watch. You'll wander the arena collecting weapons you can use to attack your opponents. To pick them up, you'll have to first collect a certain amount of coins. The better the weapon, the more coins you'll need to pick up. It's kind of interesting. They were actually able to incorporate the collectathon aspects of the game into the multiplayer. You'll start with the crummy boomerang, but there's also poisonous mushrooms, grenades, landmines, remote mines, flamethrowers, and rockets, amongst a few others. It's comparable to Rayman Arena's battle mode, but I actually 
kind of like this a little more, as weird as that sounds. I mean, honestly, I don't really like Rayman Arena's battle mode that much, but that's a subject for another video. On to the race mode, you've got snowboarding, high-speed pod racing, and motorboat racing. It's exactly as it was in KO Round 2, except you're racing a friend instead of a computer. Not much more to talk about there. Chicken is probably my favorite game mode of the bunch. It's kind of a King of the Hill type game where the players will have to grab a chicken hat and hold on to it to rack up points while the other players will try to take you out and grab it for themselves. And finally, there's Weapon Master, which is the same as Arena except everyone always has whichever weapon you selected at the beginning. Overall, the multiplayer is not really great, but it's not bad either, you know, kind of like the rest of the series, honestly, but for attacked on multiplayer mode, I've seen much worse, so... There's that. Yeah, that's all there really is to say about KO Challengers. Anything I didn't already say in the KO Round 2 video anyway, um, it's an okay port of an okay game with an okay multiplayer mode. If you're interested in playing KO Round 2 and you've got a PSP, it's not a bad choice, uh, though I would still recommend the console version over it. As for the Game Boy Advance version, uh, avoid it like the plague, dude. It sucks. It's terrible. It's awful, man. Like, it's probably one of the worst games I've ever reviewed in this channel. And you guys know I tend to be optimistic when reviewing B-grade platformers. I mean, I'll look for anything I like in a game, even though I know it's never gonna come close to the likes of, like, Banjo, Mario, or Rayman. Like, man, it just sucks, dude. That said, I am very interested in seeing what the third title's gonna be like. It was only released in Poland on PC, so hopefully I'll be able to get it working on my computer so I can talk about it and show you guys what it's all about. I hear it's actually kind of like Jack and Daxter, which is really interesting. We've had Kangaroo Crash, Kangaroo Rayman 2, and supposedly now Kangaroo Jack and Daxter, but we'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys next time when we tackle KO3. Let's Legend of the Volcano, or is it Secret of the Volcano? Mystery of the Volcano? Something of the Volcano. See you guys then. KO Round 3. Yeah. How the-